electrical channels. Um, we have an openness in the sacral as the projector. So it's with the 14, yeah, it can be, uh, you step in because you see the work that needs to be done. It's not being done. No one's listening to you and you dive in and do it yourself. And there's a tendency to, to get involved with trying to empower people and try to push them uh, and try to make things happen uh, towards the open throat, which, which doesn't really work because I, you know, you're really a very um, spiritually aligned being, aren't you? And, um, and yet there is no anchor in the chart. There is no um, um, connection in terms of feeling grounded because the, uh, there is no channel in red, there is no channel in black. So who the hell are you? You know, what can you identify with? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we have the 17 and the 18 that's constantly thinking, you, you know, you, you should do more, you could do more, you know, you want to help people, but they don't listen to you and what's wrong with you and how can you really come into who you truly are? Because somewhere you will, you will be aligned to the more, um, the potential for spiritual renewal. And I think that's, um, it's really when you when there isn't a direction in the chart when there's no channel from the g to the throat the sense of where am i going and, and how can i get there and, and then you catch on something that seems appealing to you maybe an opportunity for you to be the first to to be the first one to do something and you and you want to do it but if you don't wait for the right opening, then it, it's inappropriate. And then you get all the backlash of all the, um, the expectation that people had. And it's like, you know, you're moving too fast. So uh, really, I, I think when you've got an adrenalized solar plex, the main thing is to come to terms with your own emotional state in any, um, in any situation first. And that's really the thing. How are you feeling? Are you... Are you ready to participate? Is it better to hold back? Are you going to, to wait for the moment where you can really shine out? Mm -hmm. and, and so <clears throat> it's really a matter of, of getting out of your own way until there's something where the door is open. And then you can, you can shock them. Then you can you know, jump into the abyss and land on your feet on the other side. Yeah. You're, you're here in the, the 46 four in Jupiter to really make that that impact by being the the uh, the identity that you are I mean I'd like to say to be the character that you are because obviously there is you know uh, this isn't a, it's not easy for you to fit in I mean Very true. It's since true. ever actually yeah since ever. your your heart is your heart is individual um, so, and yet there is this, this real yearning to be accepted by others, you know, to want that, to want to be included. And yet you wouldn't be part of any club that would have you as a member because you don't want to be tied to anyone else's bloody laws, do you? So <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's a matter of, of your own alignment and letting go of the inner critic and realizing that the, the 17 and 18 in their logical uh, critique, um, it's not about turning that into you, in towards you and thinking what more should I do, could I do, would I do? Uh, it's about seeing it, what the pattern is outside of you. You know, yeah. if you're one-to-one -one connection as a projector with another, you know, where are they not functioning properly? Where are they using their energy in an incorrect way? You can feel the quality of the sacral energy. You know, this is it. Is, are you around the right quality of people that are going to be able to support you in your, well, in you, in you moving beyond the normal way of living? Because... Yeah, the mundane world is so boring for you. I mean, you've, you've got the 11th gate looking to the 56, looking for stimulation. You've got the in, inherent intelligence and knowing that there is more to life than, than what we've been told. And who's going to tell you and who's going to show you and, and where, are the, where are the people that you really want to listen to? 
you know, the twelfth gate is the is the only gate in the throne. This is yes, it's a gate yeah. of caution, but it's really, you know, it's really waiting for the the right truth that will break the patterns that keep people bound in an incorrect life, in a miserable life. I mean, all projectors want to have a life. All projectors want to, you know, delight in being alive and being in the body without having to do all the bloody work. But where are the quality of the people that will hold that for you? Mm -hmm. you, can, you can be like the shaman who is separate from the community, but can come into the community when she wants to, when she feels to, otherwise to keep away. You don't want uh, you don't want too many people around you because it's very it's very distracting. Very true. That resonates a lot.